Hello guys, welcome to EduSeeker YouTube channel. In here, we are going to look at foundation concepts of chemistry. There are three parts of this section, so in this video reveals the first steps of foundation concepts of chemistry. First of all, I want to say that if you are new to our channel, subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon to get notifications of our latest videos. So, let's begin. Chemistry is a vast dynamic subject. To understand it, we should build up a strong foundation of basic concepts in chemistry. As I said, these foundation concepts can be divided into three categories. First category is about matter. Matter contains atoms and molecules. Atom is the simplest particle that can participate in a chemical reaction. All atoms consist of central nucleus surrounded by one or more orbital electrons. The nucleus always contains protons and all nuclei heavier than hydrogen contain neutrons too. The number of protons in each nucleus called atomic number. The total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus called nucleon number. But sometimes the number of protons does not equal to the number of neutrons. Atoms of the same atomic number but different nucleon numbers of elements called isotopes. We can present the nuclear model according to this figure. The model described the atom as a tiny, dense, positively charged core called nucleus, in which nearly all the mass is concentrated around which the light, much negative constituents called electrons, circulate at some distance much like planets revolving around the sun. And location elements in periodic table. The elements towards the right of periodic table are non-metals. Those towards the left are metals. Some of groups also have familiar names. Group 1 consists of alkali metals. Group 2 more specifically calcium, strontium and barium of the alkaline earth metals. The two classes of substance meet at Diagonal line running from boron to polonium, which constitutes the metalloids with properties intermediate between those of metals and non-metals. Group 17 named as halogens and group 18 called the noble gases. The members of D block, especially the members of groups 3 to 11 in the D block are also known as transitional metals. Those of the F block, which is not divided into numbered groups, are sometimes called the inner transition metals. The upper row of the F block consists of the lanthanides, and the lower row of the F block consists of the actinoids. Chemical bonding is the link between atoms. Compounds that contain a metallic element typically but far from universally formed ionic compounds that consist of cations and anions in a crystalline array. The chemical bonding and ionic compound are due to the coulombic interactions between all the ions in the crystal and it is inappropriate to refer to a bond between specific pair of neighboring ions. Compounds that do not contain a metallic element typically form covalent compounds consisting of discrete molecules. In this case, the bonds between the atoms of molecule are covalent, meaning that they consist of shared pairs of electrons. Lewis structures constructed by allowing each atom to share electrons until it has acquired an octet. 8 elect electrons. Single bond means a shared one pair of electrons. Multiple bond means a shared two or more pair of electrons. Molecules. Molecule mean an element in the simplest form that exists in nature. Molecules structural weave explains by three theories. They are Lewis structure, VSCPR theory and polar bonds. When looking at the Expanded octet, hypervalent, incomplete 
octets, they are considered as examples of Lewis structure. The expanded octet, in number of compounds, there are more than 8 valence electrons around the central atom. This is termed as the expanded octet. Some of the examples of such compounds are PF5, SF6 and sulfuric. Hypervalent molecule. The phenomenon is sometimes colloquially known as expanded octet. Is a molecule that contains one or more main groups elements apparently bearing more than eight electrons in their valence shell. Phosphorus pentachloride, sulfur hexafluoride, chlorine trifluoride, and the chloride. Incomplete octets. Incomplete octets occurs when central atoms less than electrons in the valence shell. The beryllium, boron, and aluminium cannot act octet configuration even after sharing electrons of other atoms. Except the simplex cases, the Lewis structure does not express the three-dimensional structure of a molecule. via CPR theory. Then the position of the attached atoms, not the lone pairs, is noted and used to classify the shape of molecule. Thus, four regions of electron density adopt a tetrahedral arrangement. If an atom is at each of these locations, as in CH4, then the molecule is tetrahedral. If there is an atom at only three of these locations, then the molecule is trigonal, pyramidal, and so on. Via CPR theory, the simplest approach to prediction of molecular shape in Valence shell electron peripartition theory. The regions of high electron density as represented by single or multiple bond and lone pairs take up orientations around the central atom that maximize their separations. The formula of beryllium chloride have two bonding pairs, two valence electrons, zero lone pairs, angles between bonding pairs 180 degrees, the name of the shape is linear. Boron trichloride have three bonding pairs, three valence electrons, zero lone pairs. Angle between bonding pairs is 120 degrees. Name of the shape is trigonal planar. Methane has four bonding pairs, four electrons valence, zero lone pairs. Angles between bonding pairs is 109.5 degrees. Name of the shape is tetrahedral. Ammonia has three bonding pairs, five valence electrons, one lone pair, 107 degrees angles to the bonding pairs. The shape is trigonal pyramid. H2O has two bonding pairs, six valence electrons, two lone pairs. Angle between bonding pairs is 105. Name of shape is bent. Polar bonds. Covalent bonds may be polar or correspond to an unequal sharing of electron pair with the result that one atom has a partial positive charge and the other partial negative charge. The ability of an atom to attract electron to itself when part of a molecule is measured by the electronegativity. Electronegativity means the ability of an atom to attract shared electrons in a covalent bond. The juxtaposition of equal and opposite partial charges constitutes electric dipole. Electric dipole means a pair of electric charges of two opposite signs and equal magnitude separated by distance. If those charges are plus Q and minus Q, they are separated by distance, the magnitude of the electric dipole moment. Electric dipole moment means a measure of a separation of positive and negative electric charges within a system that is a measure of the system's overall bulk matter consists large numbers of atoms molecules are ions its physical state may be solid liquid or gas a solid is a form of matter that adopts and maintains 
a shape that is independent of container it occupies. A liquid is a form of matter that adopts the shape of the part of the container it occupies in a gravitational field, the lower part, and is separated from the unoccupied part of the container by a definite surface. A gas is a form of matter that immediately fills any container it occupies. A liquid and a solid are examples of a condensed state of matter. A liquid and gas are examples of fluid form of matter. They flow in response to forces such as gravity that are applied. The state of bulk sample of matter is defined by specifying the values of various properties. Among them are mass, volume, amount of substance. Amount of substance, a measure of the number of specified entities present in a sample. The number of entities per mole is called Avogadro constant. The currently accepted value is 6.022 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 per mole. The molar mass of substance is a mass of per mole is its atoms, its molecule or its formula units. The amount of substance of specified entities in a sample can readily be calculated from its mass by noting that N equal M over capital M. Perfect gas equation. The properties that define the state of system is not in general independent of one another. The most important example of a relation between them is provided by the idealized fluid known as a perfect gas. PV equal NRT. Perfect gas, a gas that conforms in physical behavior to particular idealized relation between pressure, volume, and temperature. Here R is the gas constant, the universal constant. The per perfect gas equation is a summary of three empirical conclusions, namely Boyle's law, Charles' law, and Avogadro principle. In Boyle's law, P times V equal constant. At constant, T, the pressure increases, volume decreases. In Charles' law, V over T equal constant. The constant pressure as volume increases, temperature increases. gay lussac law, P over T equal constant. At constant volume, as pressure increases, temperature increases. The terms of ideal gas law are V stands for volume, T stands for temperature, P stands for pressure, simple N stands for number of molecules, R stands for ideal gas constant. So that's all gonna be from today's video. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you have any problems or comments, leave in the comment box and share among your friends. Thank you.